Well, hello everyone, and this is Peter Brown with a look at your weather for the next seven days. And of course, this is a very important forecast coming up. That's for sure as we're heading into the very busy Christmas weekend, and then we'll be looking ahead towards New Year's. I know it's been going by very quickly. 2017 is almost done. As we're heading towards the end of the year, we are going to once again be seeing average temperatures below normal. That's something we've seen quite a bit of since the start of November, so that's definitely nothing new. Now, we're going to be a little bit far away from these um, record highs, um, unfortunately for us. doesn't look like we're going to be seeing any temperatures in the 60s like we saw um, in the past couple of previous Christmases. looks like it's going to be kind of chilly and kind of stormy. And, of course, heading towards the end of the period, getting up towards New Year's almost. We see our average highs keep going down. The temperature is only supposed to be in the mid-30s, and we're actually probably going to be significantly cooler than that. And of course, as you notice right here, our days are actually now starting, will be starting to get a little bit longer. So that's the great news. That's the silver lining as we head in towards winter. Now, as we move ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit what's going to be going on with our pattern for the next seven days. Now, looking at this map right here, we does look like, yeah, there is some messy weather heading for us here in the Burlington area. And this is going to be starting out, unfortunately, on Friday and may stick with us all the way through Christmas Day. So... If you have any last minute shopping you have to do or traveling to um, friends or family's houses, there is going to be a little bit of kink in all of your plans, that's for sure. And unfortunately, these high pressure centers that we see up here in Canada are going to be playing a role in that. We're actually going to see quite a bit of cold air coming down into our area starting on Friday. And as we see this weak storm system passing by to our west, we're going to start out with actually a little bit of light snow on Friday, and that could bring us maybe as much of a dusting to as maybe even as many as two inches of snow here in the Burlington area, especially if you're going out to parties late on Friday night. Keep that in mind. I think it's going to be kind of slippery out there on the roads. However, this warm front is going to come up over us and try and bring us into some much warmer air as we get into Saturday. Um, and whether or not that does happen or not, it does look like we are going to have a pretty healthy dose of rain here as we get into Saturday. It's when, however, we get into Christmas Eve and a Christmas Day when this storm will pass us by and the cold front is going to come in behind. Storm is going to slow down a little bit as it heads up towards Maine and into southeastern Canada. And that could bring, again, a chance of maybe some freezing rain and snow as we get into Christmas Day. So bear in mind, we do have some, unfortunately, rough weather ahead for the next four or five days. And that does include all of the travel days, unfortunately. Now, as we go ahead, I'm going to show you another graphic that maybe will be able to lighten your spirits a little bit. This is the average of and chances of us being able to see a white Christmas in all the different areas of the United States, at least in the contiguous 48 states. And if you notice up here in our area, up in the Burlington area, we usually actually only see about a 30% chance of seeing a white Christmas each year. And of course, what happens on Christmas Eve and into Christmas morning may dictate we may actually be able to pull out a white Christmas after all. So that's going to be something to watch out for as Santa's heading towards your house. As we go ahead, let me show you a little bit about those seven-day temperatures coming up. As you notice here, these first few days of the seven-day forecast, kind of messy, unfortunately. It doesn't look like we're going to have too much warm weather except for on Saturday. And again, of course, on Friday, we're going to start out with that chance of snow as we get in towards the afternoon. Again, just light accumulations. Again, could be as little as a dusting, maybe as much as two inches, but nothing to really derail any of your travel plans. Again, as we get into Saturday, we'll see that warm front come up over the Burlington area and the rest of southern New England, and we may see temperatures actually get into the low 50s for a very brief time, along with maybe some strong and damaging southerly winds before a cold front comes in. And of course, as we get into Sunday, we're going to start to see our temperatures go down as you get into that Christmas Eve time frame, and we may see an introduction of some snowflakes mixed in with the rain. Now, on Monday, on Christmas Day itself, we do have a chance of it being kind of messy, especially if you're out very early in the morning for Christmas Day services at all. We could see a little bit of rain, maybe mixed with snow and freezing rain. So keep that in mind. Just be prepared. As we head in, though, afterwards, if you're going back out to the mall starting on Tuesday, bringing any gifts back that you didn't really, really want, we're going to see our temperatures start to plummet. And we're going to actually see, by the time we get to Thursday, maybe the chance of some snow again as we see a real Arctic cold front come into the Burlington area. And beyond this, getting into New Year's weekend, we may only see highs in the low teens. So keep that in mind. We really are going to have a feel of winter going into the end of 2017. So everyone, I want to wish you a very happy holiday season. Stay safe out there and have a great week.